I feel bad. I'm like really warm right now, man. Um, <laughs> uh, first of all, congrats on the win. Thank and you. And I wanted to know how it was managing uh, Pat Bevinson tonight. Uh, I mean, his his energy is apparently contagious. Um, and you had him playing in that fourth quarter in that closing lineup when y'all needed him to be effective in that lineup. So how did it go kind of seeing how this game was kind of up and down for you guys? I mean, it was good seeing Pat back out there. Like I said, he's our emotional leader. And um, just seeing how hard he plays every night, competes. And uh, we needed that. You know, I thought when he got left out of the game, I thought Terrence Mann did a great job of picking up the same energy once he went out the game. Thanks, Lowe. We'll go over to Ohm. Ty, um, I'm just wondering, uh, is Lou starting to look like himself again? Is it really just a matter of his health and his body? Or what have you seen in Lou that's kind of gotten him back to on track? Yeah, I think his health. I think um, getting in the rhythm, getting in the flow. I'm kind of knowing what his plays are going to be now. I think it's helping him out a lot. And then coming in the game a little earlier, I think, has really, you know, kind of helped him to get going. So um, we want to try to stay with that as much as we can. And if some games are going to be a little different. But for the most part, we want to continue to try to, you know, keep that same flow and same momentum. And is it also just a matter of do you just want Lou to focus on scoring and a little bit less playmaking too? I want him to just do what, what the defense gives him. You know, if guys are going to double team or guys are open, he has to make the right play and make guys better, which he's been doing a great job of this year. And then when he's open, he got to shoot the basketball, you know, score the ball. And that's what we need him to do. And um, you know, he's gotten back to doing that for us lately. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Ohm. We'll go over to Andrew Gray. Ty, wh why did you want to go so small in the end? Um, obviously, I think you guys go off a 13-3 to run. Uh, once you get Nick out there with Marcus, what did you see that made you want to go for that matchup? Um, I just thought we did a good job of making an adjustment in the second half. Um, putting Nick, we did it late in the second quarter, but putting Nick on, on Paul, Anthony Towns, and and then putting um, Serge on, uh, I can't really say his name, the OG. I, oh, and we, you know, we put him on him. So we was able to switch the pick and rolls. And when they tried to post call, we got around in front and read it and kind of um, just gave him a different look. And I thought our switching really made them stagnant and really hurt them. So, um, you know, once we got to the fourth quarter, you know, um, Zoo um, was having a tough time with Reed popping and, and mixing it up a little bit. So we decided to go small. And um, our small line won us the game, like you said, being able to switch and do different things in the offense to be able to space the floor and run small, small pick and rolls, um, which allowed Kawhi to get downhill and get into the paint. And, and that finish uh, kind of contrasted to the way you guys started. It just it seemed like the energy was a little off to start. What did you see that, was, that wasn't there in the, in the first half that kind of picked up in the second? I think defensively got us going. I think getting stopped, you know, early on to start that third quarter, you know, really got our energy going. And then I think in the fourth quarter, like you said, 13-3 run, um, with, our, with our small lineup getting stopped and be able to get out early in transition and get some easy baskets. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. We'll go over to Cam. Hey, Coach. Was that – you going small, was that to combat, combat their length and their, their useful energy that they had early in the game? Because um, they kind of seemed to take off right then. Yeah, I mean, they hurt us early on, with, like I said, with their energy and um, having 10 offensive rebounds and everybody was crashing. So – it wasn't just their big, their guards was crashing as well. And I just thought we could switch more like we did to start the third quarter um, with putting Serge on a Koji. We was able to keep a body in front of us by doing a lot of switching and then also be able to rebound the ball a little better as well. And if I may, when you have Pat back in the game and he brings that energy and then he's coaching the guys up and, and encouraging them, does that help you out, Coach? Yeah, it does. Like I said, he's our emotional leader. Um, he's been that before I even got here. And uh, – just seeing how hard he plays and how he competes, and he holds guys accountable. You know, when guys are not doing their job, he's the first one to tell them. So um, we definitely need that, and we, we've missed that over the past couple of weeks. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Cam. We'll go over to Farbon. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, you know, the tale of the first half and second half was, was so drastically different, um, and I know you had mentioned some of the adjustments you had done, but it, it felt like it wasn't just that. Like in the first half, some of the players are watching the ball and the rebounds and they really started crashing the boards a lot hard in the second half. Was there any kind of speech you had to give everybody during that half time or did they just kind of get it on their own? It was a speech that we were playing soft and we had to bring a physicality to the game, you know, in all five positions. And I thought they was out scrapping us and out toughing us. And in the second half, it said, we got to be physical. And I told the guy, they're out toughing us right now. And we got to bring a physicality to the game in the second half. And I thought we did a good job of that. Thanks. We'll take one more and get you back somewhere warm. We'll go to Kahari. 
Hey, what's going on, Coach? I wanted to uh, ask about uh, Pat Bev, your emotional leader. You know, he seemed like he was pretty serious about, you know, um, texting texting the guys and speaking and talking on the court. You know, he's even impacting Kawhi to make him more vocal. You know, what does it mean to you to have that type of player on your team? Uh, it means a lot. Like I said, he's a, he's a part of the coaching staff when he does things like that, just holding guys accountable, um, telling guys when they're messing up. And, he, he, you know, he's great with that. But just seeing the way he plays, you know, it's not about shot attempts or about scoring the basketball for him. It's about getting wins, getting stops, you know, bringing that energy. He gets excited just for making a good pass, and he does not make a three-point shot. So um, those are the type of guys you love to have on your team, and he, and he brings a lot of great things when he's on the floor. Uh, thanks, Coach.